Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we are all in for a treat, I think, I suspect. I've gone somewhere that I've never been before. I went to the Angry Chicken. Angry Chicken or Fish. Chicken with an attitude. And uh, what happened was, this place has been there for about a year. Let me get this out the way. We got something special in the bag right there. This place has been there for about a year. I have never been there as I stated. And what happened was somebody posted in the Florence Foodies Facebook group, all right? Florence Foodies Facebook group. If you're in the PD area in South Carolina and you're not in that Facebook group, you need to get in there because this is going to be a growing trend in that community. Somebody had gone to the Angry Chicken and posted last week and said, yo, it's really good. You need to check it out. And immediately I knew I need to get over there because I've probably been sleeping on these folks and I need to get by there and check them out. And so I have been sleeping on this place, I believe, because when I opened the box, <laughs> immediately I could tell. So check this out. Let's see if I can get y'all in there to see this. Here, let me all do it like that. And if I do it like that. See what I'm saying? Can y'all see that? Now let me tell you what I got here. All right, I paid uh, $29 for this. You can see it on your screen. I did get their angry chicken sauce. That's this guy right here. They do have mild, medium, or hot. You see the red seasoning on the chicken and on the fish. I did go with hot. We've talked about this before. Everybody that knows me knows I like spicy food. I always have. Okay, these are boneless chicken breasts. Check that out. I thought that was going to be a piece of bone in chicken. Those are boneless chicken breasts. I'm not mad at that. All right, so let's just jump right into this, okay? Let's dive right in here. And I'm going to start with the fish. So I got chicken breast and flounder. I did not realize or anticipate that their menu. Let me just tell y'all what's in the bag because you want to know what's in the bag. I also got banana pudding. Okay. And I can tell y'all I can be a little tough on banana pudding. So I don't want anybody to get mad, but that's true. Yeah. So I didn't expect their menu to be as exhaustive as it is. I mean, they got chicken tenders, they got chicken nuggets, they got corn nuggets, they've got um, fried rice, shrimp fried rice. They got all kinds of stuff. So we probably gonna have to go back. Let's try a fry with this angry chicken sauce. Trying to guess what's going on with the angry chicken sauce. Just give me a minute on that. All right, so let's get in here and check this out. I'm gonna start with this fish. I can already tell, okay. So for me, I don't have a number one most slept on list. But if I did, these guys would have to be at the top already. All right, let me try the chicken and then we're gonna have to discuss this. Pull that off. Okay, let's discuss. You know, this is why you don't judge a book by its cover. All right? This is why you always have to do your due diligence. Realtor pun intended. The fact of the matter is, that plaza, there's not a business in that strip that I personally would patron. That's just me. I'm not knocking nobody or anything like that. I'm just saying that's just a fact. And I think what I did subconsciously is hit a little guilty by association in my own mind, right? Because I saw the place and I said, well, I'll wait and see what I hear. But I didn't rush over there. And I assumed... That I knew the menu. Isn't that crazy? Just out here assuming. 
And so I figured they got bone-in fried chicken, some kind of fried fish. It'll come in a little white box, and that's pretty much it. Well, you saw and you see the menu on your screen. You see the box. And when you go in, this place is legit. I mean, they, they decided we are going to set up shop right here on West Evans Street. And we're going to do this thing. And I respect that. When you go in, they've got angry chicken on the ceiling leading up to the cash register in big green neon light. I didn't get footage of it because if I haven't partnered with a restaurant or a business, I don't want to be in there getting footage inside their business. So I just keep it all where it's public, you know. But this is this is really good, man. Um, all right. So the heat level, I try to grade everything on a curve because I I've been told I got a genetic mutation. Uh, I've literally been told that I don't believe that to be true, but I do eat hot stuff and it's not like people will bring me stuff that's ridiculously hot. It's like, yo, I don't, I don't want this. Like I don't want to eat a bag of the world's hottest gummy bears, but I do have, I guess a pretty high spice tolerance in comparison to other people. And so I try to consider that. Do I find this to be overly hot? No, actually I find it to be perfect. I find it to be spicy. That's what I want for some of you out there. You may find this too hot. So I would say go with mild first. But I'm really enjoying this flounder. It's going to be a challenge not to eat both pieces right now in one sitting. Coleslaw is okay. It's got a little bite to it. Oh, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing spectacular about the coleslaw, but it's, it's fine. It serves its purpose. But I'm really enjoying this flounder. And this angry chicken sauce has got an ingredient in it that I can't put my finger on. Lemon juice, sir. There's something acidic in there that I can't put my finger on. Uh, I like it. I like that. And I definitely like this chicken. And so listen, I'm going to tell you this. KFC's right across the street. Like literally right across the street from these guys. Just go here. That KFC line, drive through line, is always wrapped around the building anyways. I think they finally did open the inside back up. The inside was shut down for like three years. You might as well, if you see that line's wrapped around, you might as well just walk in here. I did think this was going to be bone-in chicken, but I'm not even mad at it. We're going to have to go back here. Um, when I got in there, I, I thought I had it all figured out. I didn't investigate before I went, and I had a plan that was based on faulty assumptions. We're going to have to go back. They got fried rice, which is not on the menu. We're going to have to try that. I came very close to, I felt pressured, you know, like she was waiting on me to order. And so I cracked under the pressure and defaulted to what I thought was going to be my original plan, which was a couple pieces of fried chicken and piece of fish. This is really good. And the thing is, we don't have a lot of places like this. Like this would be comparative to if you would go to like the shrimper or which is Maryland fried chicken now, or maybe like a jumping Jays type of situation here in Florence, maybe like an orange lamb for those of y'all that know about that. So that's kind of a segue to something else I want to talk about. I went to edit the weekly housing market update and my MacBook charger wasn't working out of the blue. And so me and technology have issues sometimes and it aggravates me. That thing's only like, two years old, not even quite that old. It's actually, yeah, it's not even two years old. It's less, it's like a year and a half. Charge is not working. I don't know what happened. I hope it's only the charger, you know? So any Mac users out there, if you've had any experiences or you just want to gripe about something in the comments, feel free. But uh, I really realize as the Florence foodies community grows and just the foodie community globally, because believe it or not, a lot of views that we get are not even from the United States that we just need to identify and rank all the food items in our area, starting right here at home. And then who knows? But I've been inspired to find out in our area who's offering the best everything. And so we're looking at cheeseburgers, but I think that we're going to need to expand and get multiple spreadsheets going. I'm beyond impressed with these guys. When I walked in the door, all right, when I walked in the door, 
I was beginning to suspect. When I looked at the menu, my suspicions were very high. When the nice young lady, by the way, super good service too. Very nice young lady up at the counter. And that's important. That's important. When she opened the box, I was certain. And then the whole ride over here, smelling the fish, smelling the flounder. I already knew. I already knew. The best way I could describe this is like a very mildly spicy tartar sauce. That's their angry chicken sauce. The fries are lightly seasoned. I don't know if you can see that. And they're good. They are indeed very fish and chip style. Tartar sauce with Texas Pete. Angry chicken staff. Anybody on the angry chicken staff? You're seeing this. Did I nail it? Am I right? Louisiana hot sauce, tartar sauce. But yeah, I knew. I knew that I knew that I had underestimated them when I walked through the door. And then certainly when she opened that box right there. And now, after taking it all in, I'm ashamed to say that I walk around with this shirt on and I did not go into this place long before. So I apologize. That's all I can do. I'm sure the good people at the Angry Chicken and Fish will accept my apology. They got red velvet cake. They've got um, this banana pudding. I think they had a couple of other desserts. I can't remember off the top of my head. But you saw the menu. I started to go with the red velvet cake, but I was like, that's a little bit too much. So I said, I'm going to, I'm going to go with this. So let's check this out. Okay. Very similar to the coleslaw in this. It's nothing to write home about or blow a trumpet about, but it is good. It's what you would expect. It's baseline. It's status quo banana pudding. That's not necessarily a bad thing. In a world where restaurants continually serve us items that are disappointing, that we're looking forward to, that we have high hopes and expectations about, and they let us down, status quo is not necessarily a bad thing. So no, I don't have anything raving to say about this, but I also don't have anything negative to say about it. It's got real bananas in it. The banana pudding is not jello banana pudding and the wafers up top they're not soggy so they haven't been sitting in there a long time they're crisp they're fresh i have no problems with it i have nothing negative to say about it it's status quo and i don't mean that in a bad way the rest of this i'm gonna say is above the status quo bar i'm very impressed with this i have already apologized for not going sooner i'm not gonna do it again i'll do it one more time i'm sorry i didn't go sooner to all of you but beyond that this is good so if you're on West Evans, if you're in that whole area, and usually that's where we tend to migrate when we're driving around and we don't know where to eat, stop in the Angry Chicken. They've got an exhaustive menu, come to find out, and just pick something. I have a feeling, I have a suspicion that as we dive more into that menu, and I do plan for us to go back, um, maybe next time we'll kind of diversify it a little bit, try a lot of things. I got a feeling that most things you're going to eat out of that kitchen are going to be pretty good. So look, I'm going to leave y'all with that. One last thing I'm going to say, and I'm going to be brief about this because I know that a lot of the audience isn't even from our area. Now, granted, if you want to buy one, by all means, have at it. And we appreciate the support. But we didn't really price these to make a lot of money. They're $24 a piece. We did choose the most expensive, highest rated shirts that they have to offer. And I finally got my first one in. And there's a few different designs. This is kind of the base logo that we made. But um, I can say the quality on these is really nice. That's very light, breathable, stretchy. The graphics are put on these well, so it's not going to wash off and break off. Uh, they're exactly what we were hoping they would be. So the link will be down in the description to the store where you can go pick up one of these shirts. And remember, if you're local, you need to be in the Florence Foodies group. This is how I was prompted to go here. I knew it was there, but it was like when she posted that, it was like a cattle prod saying, hey, you need to go over there. And that was the right move. So with that being said, we're going to continue our search for the best burger in Florence. But we are also going to start searching for the best every other item you can think of within reason also. And we do have a special showcase coming up. That should be out possibly next week. Uh, we're scheduled to film next week. I don't know if the video will be out quite that quick. But our next Restaurant Showcase, Local Business Showcase, 
is coming right around the corner and we're really excited about that one. So if you like this content, not only give the video a like, but make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified to future videos such as that one. I definitely will give my endorsement to Angry Chicken and plan to be returning to them in the future. And God willing, we'll see y'all in the future. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one.